20 years ago, CFA was changed forever. At a forest fire north of the small town of Linton, five Geelong West firefighters died when their tanker and another tanker from Geelong City were engulfed by fire after a change in wind direction. First tonight, the tragic start to Victoria's bushfire season. Good evening, two Victorian towns are tonight trying to deal with the deaths of five firefighters amid the trees, the scorched remains of the Geelong West CFA tanker. Dominating this news hour, the deaths of five CFA volunteers killed in a bushfire at Linton. Geelong became the epicentre of the state's grief, mourning five of its own who perished in Linton's flames. Following the loss of five firefighters, a 107-day coronial inquest followed where 55 recommendations were handed down. As a result, the proposed programs to improve planning, procedures and equipment were segmented into four areas. Command and control, communication and information flow, firefighting methods and equipment, firefighter skills and knowledge. Command and control included four planning requirements such as document the framework for new CFA standing orders and procedures and to review the role of groups. Five procedure requirements such as reinforce existing procedures for resource management and document trigger points and resource requirements for staging areas and operation points. Communication and information flow included seven planning requirements such as develop multi-region and multi-agency communication plans and amend rules to facilitate cross-boundary communications. Seven procedure requirements such as reinforce training in radio discipline and develop procedures for managing flow of critical information. Three equipment requirements included Deploy radio repeaters where needed. Firefighting methods and equipment included six planning requirements such as to reinforce use of anchor points and establish registers of heavy equipment operators and provide survival training. Four procedure requirements such as document standard procedures and inventory for appliances and mandatory personal protection equipment and survival training. Five equipment requirements such as investigate potential for improving safety, survival features of appliances to protect personnel and review personal protection equipment. Firefighters skills and knowledge identified three planning requirements such as introduce a system of mentors at state and local level. Two procedure requirements such as assemble pre-planned ICS teams for deployment to significant incidents and two equipment requirements such as develop additional training packages. Through the dedication and commitment of several local CFA members and with the support of the families of the five CFA firefighters killed, a Linton staff ride was established. This incorporates all the information known as the day progressed. Activities where participants discuss decision making, a moment to reflect at the memorial, and at all the Linton rides to date, a first hand account from then strike team leader Simon Scarf. Near the memorial, remnants from the Geelong West tanker remain on the ground. When experiencing the staff ride, the sister of firefighter Jason Thomas found some material from the truck shaped as the letter J, which she still wears as a necklace today. As with the families, CFA will always remember and reflect on Linton. Each day the practices learned from Linton protect today's CFA firefighters.